Alright guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can add uh, your uh, dollar account to your, um, let me call it your Amazon KDP dashboard so that you can receive your funds or your payment when is due time. Alright, first of all, you should know you should have at least a dollar account or USD account, which is the dollar account or a British pounds account or a euro account amongst the three one of them can work for you yes and one of the platform that gives you the power to do that is called GeekPay. with GeekPay, you can create your dollar account then uh the next one is great account if you want a great account there is need for you to create one so um i said something i said among these two they are good platform but uh if you want to uh like GeekPay, for example with GeekPay, you must have a minimum of five dollar before you can withdraw your funds, and they they cost you one point five dollar fixed rate for every transactions that happen on your account. Yes, that is GeekPay. But with Gray, uh, Gray is beautiful. Gray charge just one percent of every transactions, and the minimum you can withdraw is zero point one. It means any money that comes in your Gray, you can withdraw it. But one thing is missing at the rate here we have uh, this rate over at the British we have um, 1720 but it seem in this place it is higher. Yes, if you if you click on this and you try to check, you try to check uh, their conversion rate, it might be higher, not minding over so you can decide to convert fund over here. Let's see what we have. So before we just go straight to this place, over this place, you can decide to eat one, this and see the the conversion in Naira. Let's pick on Naira. You can see over here. Let's just pick on one, this. You can see we have 1722 at this place. Where at this rate, let's see what we have. We have 1720, just a little difference. So you can decide to pick among these. If you don't have account, you can set up your account. Just take the description or find around my channel. You can see how to create your dollar account using gray or any of all this. Now we have that ready. The next thing we want to do is to go straight to the dashboard of Amazon. Yes. So you can log into your Amazon uh, dashboard either on your smartphone or your laptop. So now we have that the next thing you click is among the screen there's no need going to your bookshelf you already know what bookshelf does is where you put your books then you report you report and check how much you've made for the month if you've not made any money it means you have to send me a message so that i can show you uh the best possible ways when it comes to making money on uh, amazon kdp i can give you all the courses you needed and my mentorship as well so that you can become part of those who earn but if you're working too hard but patient enough soon you will have a lot of money in your dashboard now we're going to click on account yes so account don't really take time so we're going to click on this account you just wait for this to see your account it's not advisable you have two amazon kdp accounts on one device to avoid termination so but if you if you like having you don't uh, understand the concept of creating more than one account uh, you can check my channel. You see where I said how to create multiple accounts So just watch the video so that you can know all this so over here now you can just leave all this uh, Then we'll go straight to getting paid So getting paid you can choose how you want to get paid so you can see here. I already set up um, My GPB which is the British pounds means of getting paid This is a very simple one. So the next one want to do is to click on add another bank yes so or you can better still delete this if you don't want you can see the option called delete account so via right now where this i can use it to receive my money in all places that means the money you earn on amazon are all in dollar so especially in the u.s market then uh when you get your money from us is being converted to uh, GPB and you get paid on the pounds, uh, the British pounds currency. So now we're going to click on add another bank account for an instance. So now it's going to ask you two, three questions. Uh, number one is which state are you doing this? Uh, which country? 
so we're doing this for United still, which is the dollar, or you are doing this for United Kingdom, which is the pounds, or you can decide to pick Europe and see. So you see, we don't have Europe. Uh, let's see what we have down. Apart from this, we have Canada, we have Australia, we have. Uh, one thing I want to know is, um, let's just see what's there. These are all the places that Amazon collect money from. We have, uh, okay, okay, we have Canada. So uh, yes, let's just ask one question. Which currency does Canada use? Let's see. Uh, what we have okay they have canada uh canadian dollar okay so now we have that uh we want to uh play we want to be smart enough we want to be smart enough um let's just stay put to this so we're going to pick united kingdom or let's use the united states let's use the united states uh now what we're going to do is united states i'm going to click on that then it's going to start asking one or two questions but before that you can see i've removed my tasks let me explain what the tax means is if you uh like now you can say i have removed the 30 percent withholding tax you know at every sales you made on amazon there are two category the first one is the ebook the second one is the paperback the ebook is the one they read on their phone they don't need to print it but the paperback they have to print it and amazon collect uh 30 percent from your sales at the ebook and they give you 70 percent then on the paperback, Amazon collects sixty percent and give you forty as well. But the painful part is after you receive your forty percent, if you've not removed um, this tax information, they are going to remove another thirty percent from how much you earn. So the total they will receive from it is how much? Thirty plus uh, sixty, they are going to receive ninety. Why you will take ten? Then on the ebook, 30 plus 30, they are going to give you 40% on ebook. That's why it's advisable you remove the tax. And it's very simple to do. Just check my YouTube channel. You're going to see a video that talk about how you can remove this in just a few minutes. It won't take you more than five minutes or four minutes. You are not calling anybody. You just with your smartphone and your internet connection, you get it sorted. There is no app you are downloading. It's self-explanatory. Now back to what we are saying here. Now we've picked the United Kingdom, which is uh, United States. It means we are picking a dollar. So I'm going to come straight to this place. I'm going straight to my wallet at my gig pay. Then it's going to patiently fetch depending on how strong my network is. So over now you can see I have my receiving account. I'm going to view the details. So at the account name, we have this, the bank name, we have this, account number, we have the routine number, account type, and the address. So I'm going to come straight to this place. It said the account order name. What is this? Enter the name of the person or entity associated. So we're going to come straight to this place. Now, this is the account holder. I'm going to pick this. Then when you pick that, you're going to put that the older name. Then the next thing you want to do is the account number so to pick the account number move on to this place and copy this if you're in your smartphone just select that and copy and paste it there then it's going to tell me to re-enter the account now you don't know if this is checking or this is saving but I advise you check there and see what's there so the account type is checking so ensure you are picking checking so over now we have the routine number so you're going to go straight to the routine number and you see from here we have routine number like this i'm going to click on ctrl c and which is copy or command c if you are max so i'm going to paste that routine number is required same of okay you can see so now we go you can click on hard but i'm not hard in that i'm just trying to show you how easy it is now we've done that of uh united states we might want to do for other country like United Kingdom. So we're going to come here and change United States by clearing this off and click on United Kingdom. You said you already have a bank account for this region, but above all, let's just see how it works. So we have account holder name at United Kingdom. We're going to come straight to GeekPay, but if you're using Gray, it's simple. Still click on this one and patiently wait for it to give you your bank details. So over here now, we have this. The account name remains this. You're going to copy this here. Then you're going to come straight to this place and paste this. Then you're going to come straight to Gray again and see uh, we have the account type. We have Swift code. We have account number, we have IBAN and some stuff. So I'm going to leave all our checking because it seems checking is the best for all. 
So I'm going to leave that. Then IBAN. Let's see what IBAN means. So we're going to copy this IBAN here. And then you got control C. Then you're going to come straight to this place and paste that IBAN. Then the BIC code comes straight to BIC code and find one. So if you don't know what BIC code, you can search on Google and say what is BIC code for bank. Let's see what it tells us the other name for it. If there is alternative, BIC stands for this. It's an 8 to 11. This BIC and start, 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 start. Look at the other names called SWIFT or BIC code. So we're not going to waste much time. We see we have that. This is it. So we're going to click on this BIC code and we are good to go. So over here, I'm going to come straight to this place and add this. Then when you're good to go, the next thing you want to do is click on hard. So now we've done the first two we've done for that one. Uh, we're not adding this we are canceling it we don't want to add that then we want to add the final one if we can add the euro but i don't know which of the country australia i don't know if australia uses the euro we have okay this one is still bsb and bic this is for um i think this is for okay let's see something let's come to this place let's click on um let's switch from here to euro and see what we have that over the euro, we have uh, just IBAN, just IBAN. But let's see that for the gray. If there's something special, let's see the euro. Let's see what we have at the euro. We have okay. We have IBAN. We have the B. It means we can still fill this detail for that of um, euro account. So the uh, what it means is for um, for British pounds. And for euro, their details are almost the same. There is need for you to enter the BSB and the BIC. So over here, you can see we have the BSB, if not mistaken. Uh, from here, okay, we have the bank name, we have the IBN, the SWIFT code, and the other stuff. Let me see something in this place. If these are BSB. Okay, if we don't know what BSB stands for, let's just see what BSB is here. It's a BSB is required. Okay, account number BSB. So we can come here and say what is BSB. Let's see. BSB code for bank. So now we have that bank state branch. It stands for bank state branch in the sense is similar to SWIFT code. However, BSB need numbers are intended for local transaction rather than um rather than international so it stands for a uh, bank state branch so we're going to come straight to this place and see the branch if we have anything here uh, we have IBN here which is this then for the gray we have um, the branch uh, we have okay we don't know if it's this one the code or the swift code but I believe with the lit that two I just showed you is enough to get the job done all right guys i believe that you should set up and you remove your tax then the final thing you do for me is please subscribe to my youtube channel like this video share with your friends drop a new com a nice comment for me then turn the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i make video i believe you should be able to add the payment method to your kdp account without stress and you have removed your tax as well this is one thing then to add to that um, if you're into kdp and you want um you want a um, canva pro account so that you can enjoy the benefit of it you can send me a dm as well so that i can add you to my group without hesitation then on this note finally um just have one thing if you want to join me on my whatsapp group you can send me a message then and tell me i want to be part of your whatsapp group then or what you want to be a friend with me on whatsapp i'm open you can send me a message just check around my channel you will see a link that will direct you to my whatsapp then I, as i've explained before if you want to use gray there is need for you to create a gray account it's very easy to set up check the description on this on how to create a gray account if you want to use GeekPay, you can try it then you can try other platform like payday same some there's something called payday you can try the payday and send and receive money. This is good too. You can try that. 
then we still have another i think cheaper cash someone talked about cheaper cash you can try that as well and see if it's something you can try you can see send money and receive you can try all this up in case uh gig pay does not work for you or gray does not work for you so that's all for now thank you for your time and thank you for watching this video and thank you for reaching out to me how we attend to all your questions in case but don't forget to subscribe before coming to my dm i'll see you in my next video as well